quick flip through of my current Traveler's Notebook setup. I've done a few of these before and you guys seem to really like them, so I thought you might like to see what I've currently got going on. I'm still in the A6 size. It's still my favorite. I still have no plans of changing anytime soon. Um, I do, however, consider sometimes getting a full-size bullet journal and maybe using that in addition to the Traveler's Notebook because I really enjoy the creativity of bullet journaling, but I feel kind of, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but I feel constrained by the size of the A6 uh, bullet journaling situation, which I'm going to show you what I'm using in here. For that, um, sometimes it seems like it would be nice to have some more space for that, but as far as everything else, I really, really love the A6 size. I love how it fits in your hand, like it's exactly the size of my hand. Um, this one is actually super chunky. I think this is probably the chunkiest TN I've ever had a setup for, and it's because I put both of my Hobonichi, which is an A6 size, and my A6 bullet journal in there, along with my other inserts. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, and I'll show you what I'm using and why my Traveler's Notebook is so fat. Um, first of all, this on the front is just a cute little bow from a Planner Press Dash Box, which I don't think she's doing anymore. I think she's going fully digital on the Dash Boxes. Um, but that was out of one of those. These are, this is a cute bookmark by Fur and You. She does these adorable little felt flowers with um, some dangly charms on there. It's really cute. I'm waiting for her to reopen so I can order some more. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go over the top game real quick because I'll know I'll forget to do it later if I don't do it now. This is Planner Society. This is Planner Society. Fur and you, fur and you, Planner Society on the top there. And I just love the girly, I love the girly stuff. And girly probably isn't the political, politically correct term, but I have a hard time explaining it as anything else. Uh, maybe dainty would be a better word. But um, here are the, these are just some cute paper tags that I keep in my planner. Oh, and this Traveler's Notebook itself is from Pella, Pell? I don't know if it's Pell or Pella Studio, but it's called a Pelladori. It's, it's spelled P-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and it's gorgeous. I love this color. I saw someone on Instagram with it, and I knew I had to have it. Gray is my favorite color, and I know that probably sounds weird, but I love gray. I feel like it goes with everything, and I don't know. Maybe because I'm into rainstorms, and it reminds me of clouds and stuff, and I'm just not sure. So i got these cute cards. These are from Maggie Holmes. Um, this is a cute little girl I drew and turned into a die cut. I've just got her tucked in there in the front. And then a lot of these papers uh, are from the Maggie Holmes Carousel collection. And I got them from a Instagram shop called Peachy Cheap. Yeah, Peachy Cheap. And you can also find it on scrapbook.com. But I got these as a deal on Peachy Cheap. And I had to have it when I saw it because... I had just released or started to get ready to release a carousel collection in my shop for a sticker kit and some die cuts. So this was going to go perfectly with that. So this is a cute little journaling card from that set and paper from that set. These are dashboards from Planner Press. This is acetate and this is vellum and those are both from a Planner Press box. It says wake up and smell the inspiration. And this first insert is a Foxy Fix insert. I do like their inserts and I like the quality of the paper in them. This particular one I use for brain dumping things for the shop. Like anything that comes to my head, I'm like, ooh, that would be a really cool thing to doodle for the shop or that would make a really awesome kit or I'm thinking about this really great color palette. It goes in here. And then back of both of those dashboards, back of that paper there's another some cute ephemera here and some more papers um, more ephemera these are cute little tickets it says you are wonderful cute little camera all of it coordinates I loved the kites that have the patterns of the papers as the kites I thought that was really cute and got the inside of this these cute shoe um, vellum from planner press this is an Annie plans printable that I have used for a full year it's a monthly 
and I've literally used this for a year the last month and it is June because it is an academic calendar so this is my um, last month in this one so I do need to get a new one there's the back of that it's got like a cute really kind of blurred out picture of like a carousel themed place it's really hard to tell because it's so blurry but you can kind of tell it goes with the same color scheme this is another one of those girls that I drew and I just filled her dress with a different pattern that I did and some more ephemera another vellum dashboard by planner press it says beautiful minds inspire others then this is a may books um, notebook it's just dot grid but one thing that I do love about having the a6 size is their mini notebooks are all a6 so they fit in here perfectly and they have so many fun cute patterns and color choices to choose from it's really easy to just grab some notebooks from there especially when they're having a sale and they fit right into the a6 size notebook and this particular one is my just everyday brain dump so in the front I have my business brain dump and then here in the middle I have like just my personal brain dump like everything that's not business I'll make lists and stuff in here like here I made a list of stuff that we can go do as a family on Saturdays and because I knew I wanted to get back to that quickly I just folded some washi tape over the edge and that way when my book is closed I can easily get to that sheet with the washi tape so it is something that I um, think is a great idea if you keep a journal or a brain dump or in your planner you have a page like a bullet journal especially this would be helpful if you have a page where um, there's something you want to get back to quickly then you can put just a strip of washi on the edge and it will help you find it in your book and this particular strip of washi is really cute um, peach washi for, with the gold bows from simply gilded and I just got it about a week ago and I am currently using these in my bullet journal um, and I'll show you that in just a minute but I love the peaches they're so cute and then we've got the back of the vellum. The back of that says, every moment is magical when I'm with you. And this is more ephemera from the Carousel Collection by Maggie Holmes. This is more ephemera from her and die cuts. And this little bow is one that I hand doodled and colored and printed out. And then this lovely little dashboard is from Planner Press. It, um, you probably have seen it on Instagram if you follow you know several planner people on that um, it's been pretty popular she's done a couple of pre-order sales for it I don't know if she's gonna be bringing it back again or not um, but it is adorable I love it and um, that's what brought me to her shop in the first place is when I saw that and then I had to subscribe to her dash box and this particular insert is just blank kind of cream colored pages and I just use this for doodling sometimes I take the doodles that I do in here and really flesh them out um, in Illustrator and turn them into doodles for the shop or full-on hand-drawn kits for the shop. Um, just where I like to draw when I'm out and about and I get an idea or I just want to get artsy for a minute, I'll draw in there. That's attached with a clip, but it's just the back of those. Um, this is a cute little ice cream die cut, you know, like a little ice cream stand at the, at the carnival or by the carousel. This is another bow I doodled, this is a swan I doodled, and this is a journaling card and more paper from that carousel collection by Maggie Holmes. And this is just a cover that I made for my bullet journal. I'm using the Rhodia A6 size. I love the paper, it is a cream color. Um, obviously I would prefer white, I think most people would prefer white, but it is working out well. This is some of the spreads I've done in here. So I'm using it right now with daily spreads, but I might switch it up to um, two days per page because as you can see, like this is today and I'm not using all the space on the bottom. So it's kind of a waste of space. So I might switch to that. But like I said, I do like to get creative in my bullet journal and I wish, do wish I had a little bit more space to do that. So I might get a bigger bullet journal and use it in addition to the Traveler's Notebook. These are just some cute decals that I designed and are available in the shop just to use as like monthly markers to mark a new month in your journal. So that's May and then you know I got through the May stuff. I didn't do much planning in May actually. And then June. And then 
once I'm done with June, then I'll put in the July decal and so on. It's just a cute little bullet journal that fits right in my traveler's notebook and has a little strap on it to keep it closed if you want to. And it's really easy just to pull out and work in and then just slide right back in. Um, this is another little doodle I drew. It's gotten a little bit beat up. It says sparkle every day. Another doodle by me. This is another bow that I did. These are from the Maggie Holmes collection. Just some cute little ephemera that came with the kit I purchased. And then this is some more of the pretty paper from that. And then this is a pen from the Simply Gilded subscription box that came with all the adorable peach washi. This is just a little clip that I made. You basically just take a binder clip and a piece of fold over elastic and you glue it to the binder clip and then clip it in and you have a pen clip. So this particular Travers and Look notebook did not come with a pen loop. Some of them do, some of them don't, but if it doesn't come with a pen loop or if you need extra pen loops, this is an easy way to add that in. So this is my Hobonichi. This is more creative journaling type stuff. So I use it a, bit as, a little bit as a planner at the beginning and then it just turned into like a challenges thing. So here I was doing the Llamas Love Lettering Challenge and the Oh So Cute Doodles Challenge this month. So I have just drawings and lettering and I have swatches and patterns and all sorts of things. Um, this is when I went to China. So I tipped in a um, ticket for the train in China. And then this month, Oh, in May I did a bunch of quotes. I did a new quote every day just with some fun backgrounds. I may do a flip through of that later. But in June I'm doing journaling. So I'm journaling on the pages, just one page a day just to try and keep it simple because I am not a great journaler. Um, but I do want to get better at it. So my challenge to myself was for the month of June to journal in my Hobonichi and it's fun creating these cute watercolor backgrounds and then writing on top of them. And that's the end of the Hobonichi. This is the back of the cover and this is just more ephemera. This one is one I drew. This one is one from the Maggie Holmes collection. There's a cute pocket. It's really sturdy. I like how sturdy this is. I believe this is a waxed leather. So it holds up a lot better and the scratching on it is gorgeous like some people hate when their planners get scratched up I'm sure certain planners it looks worse than others but this particular one I feel like the more scratched up it gets the better it looks because it's just kind of the theme of this planner I mean it's supposed to be have that scratched up look so if you add more scratches to it you can't even tell um, the difference between what was there before and what was added to it so anyways, that is my traveler's notebook flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe got some inspiration or some ideas for your traveler's notebook, or maybe you're inspired to try a traveler's notebook. Definitely recommend you try out a few different sizes. I believe when I started out, I tried, oh my gosh, I think I tried so many sizes. I tried the micro, I believe it's the micro, or the passport. I can't remember if it's called a micro or a passport. I think it's the passport size. I also tried the pocket size, I tried the A6 size obviously, and I tried the passport size, no not passport size, the personal size, which I didn't like. The personal is long, kind of longer like a B6, but it's narrower, and I didn't like not having a lot of space to write out to the side. Um, and I tried the B6, which was good, but it just felt a little bit too big for me. So I went back to the A6 and that's where I have lived happily ever after. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe my video or comment below with future content you would like to see or any information you would like, maybe something I didn't explain during the flip through that you would like more information on. And I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend some time with me and watching my video and I hope you're having a great week. Bye.